Hi, Shira7. I'm back. I was asked to do a video yesterday and I just didn't do it yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and get it out the way. So I was asked by um, someone who, you know, is religious, believes in God, and quotes the Bible and all that good stuff. What my beliefs and faith was before I learned what I learned, you know. Like, what was I taught? Basically, um, my mother was raised Catholic and in Catholic school. And she feared everything. She was scared to do anything. She lived in fear. And in, in a lot of ignorance as well. And as a young child, I watched her very closely. And I saw how afraid she was of a lot of things. And I saw how easily influenced she was by certain people and you know i just didn't understand and then also she would take me to church every sunday and i would sit in this boring long mass and listen to something that made no sense to me and was basically bored to death um i've always had like this special gift that i could see and hear things on different planes of existence so automatically religion you know doesn't even want to even accept that you know they want to label it something evil or something bad and I know that I'm not that so I automatically dismissed religion because it d dismissed me so if I believe if the Creator gave you a special gift and then you run into a group of people or a book that puts puts that gift down then I just I have to dismiss that automatically you know why would I go against myself that's silly so yes that's part of the reason that I don't do religion you know I believe in a, a supreme being God creator but I don't believe in the God in the Bible at all you know a lot of people wrote the Bible a lot of people altered the Bible a lot of people can quote the Bible which is fine because I can quote Shakespeare I can quote uh, Martin Luther King I can quote Michael Jackson I can quote anybody but that doesn't mean that I've subscribed to every single essence or every single belief that's you know ever been said by them no I don't so I've been asked or told See, a lot of people have audacity when they're religious. <laughs> I've been told that I should repent of my ways so that I won't have to burn in hell. But sadly, I don't believe in a hell, so it's, there's no hell. Like, I create my own universe. I create my own thoughts. And I haven't created a hell. So, oops. And who, who, should, I, who should I repent to? Because I don't believe in the God in the Bible, so there's no one for me to actually repent to. I mean, I, I understand self-forgiveness, you know, don't feel guilty for certain things, move on, move forward. But I don't, I don't need to repent to anybody because there's no one to repent to in my reality. And it's been working beautifully. Um, and have you ever noticed how, like, non-religious people don't try to convert you? And any, you know, or or ask you to change in any type of way all they do is give you like some knowledge a few videos here and there they don't try to tell you you're going anywhere negative you know that's what they've been taught and they have a lot of fear in them and so naturally they're gonna fear for you because they truly believe this so it's in their best intent because actually it's a form of caring they care about your soul and if it's gonna burn for eternity okay so cut them some slack. I'm going to say cut them some slack. They just don't understand. And you can't make them understand unless they want to or until they're ready. So you know how people say, I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you. Okay, thank you. Make sure you pray for me some, you know, prosperity. I, I love all positive prayers. Send them to my way. If they're going to waste their energy on begging some fictitious person in the sky, in my honor, hey, who am I to stop them? But hey, <clears throat> as for me and mine, we will continue to live a prosperous, positive life. And we don't need to repent for anything because we, don't, we haven't done anything wrong. You know, if the Creator, God, 
didn't want me to use my intuition, my God-given intuition, then why did he give it to me? I don't know. If he didn't want me to, you know, teach others a truth, then why do they want to learn it? I don't know. So, be careful, like, what you ask people to do, because that might not even be in their vocabularies. Like, repent. There's, there's not words, certain words in certain religions, because there's no need for them. We've evolved past that. We have evolved. Now, when y'all are ready to evolve, we'll be here to teach you. But we're not going to force you. We're not going to, we're not going to be like, you need to repent and, because we don't believe in it. So, and you know how they say, ooh, y'all take everything and twist it. They say the meek will inherit the earth. Well, telling somebody they're going to hell and they need to, and they need to repent and pointing fingers and judging people, that's not meek, baby. That ain't meek. This is meek. Num your whore and get your ting. That's meek, okay? So, be careful. <laughs>